So just as a uh, kind of as a quick frame, so we. We don't build networks, we actually help our operator customers manage, manage their network. Um, with respect to LTE, what we see our operator customers deal with today are really problems in two, two areas, that both very significant. One is as they deploy the LTE networks, they're dealing with a significant uh, growth of voice, video, and data. So one of the big problems that the operators are looking to do is manage the scale and complexity of the proliferation of voice, video, and data and they're looking uh, for LTE to help manage not only that growth, but also the economics behind it. The role we play is we help assure the networks, and as they turn the networks up and begin to deploy the networks, they use our technology as early eyes and ears and visibility on the network turn up, the performance of their infrastructure and the elements in their network, and help uh, provide a level of quality of service so as the new users come on the network, we help ensure that their early service experience for voice, video, and data is good. Um, because the second and probably most dynamic challenge that we see operators face today is the monetization of the, uh, of the LTE network, or more specifically, it's dealing with the voice, video, and data growth and the explosion that it is presented for them and having them make money with it. So what, uh, what we have really begun to transform and how the operators use our tools, it's uh, in now in a broader sense from assurance. So it's moved well beyond troubleshooting over the last several years to where they take now the data from an analytics perspective and begin to look at the customer and service experience of an individual, an individual user by handset, by tablet, or by air card, and actually begin to uh, get clearer insight on their usage characteristics and learn from that how to drive more up sell uh, opportunities and offerings to them in a way that help increase ARPU. So now it's much more than just customer service and pre prevention of churn, it's using the data in an artful way to help them satisfy their customers and offer more services and help, help pay for the infrastructure by driving upsell capabilities. So C CEM and uh, I would say customer experience of the network and the service uptake is playing a much more significant role in the LTE transformation than ever before. It was certainly an area in the 3G uh, transformation that was important is becoming critical now so that they can monetize the network. So it's more than just looking at the KPIs of the network performance, it's beginning to now look uh, almost like the over-the-top providers do, looking at like how the Googles and others um, uh, begin to approach the customer experience and looking at their application usage in a way to help not only, again, market and mind to them, but to then look at um, additional services that can allow them to uh, broaden their experience from a social networking perspective. Um, well, there's probably two answers to, uh, to that. So one is technology, one is, um, I would say, on, on a global basis. So we've, uh, we've been very fortunate to work with operators and take an early share in terms of uh, helping, helping um, them with the deployment of LTE. So um, for us, uh, it's both tier one markets and, and tier two, tier three emerging markets that are uh, our focus in terms of helping operators deploy the, the LTE uh, technology. And then secondly, um, I, I would say it's really uh, been in, in helping operators uh, manage their 3G to 4G uh, network experience. So for example, many operators are moving from a 3G transformation to 4G. It's ensuring that that transition goes smooth and that the early turn up of the technology is successful and they don't have churn based on um, you know, early, early adopter challenges.